for Asgard. It is May the 6th, 2023. And over, say, um, 12 years, let's say 12 years ago. The first Thor movie, first live action Thor movie, released on May the 6th, 2011. And that was the, the start of me going to the movie theater. Before that, I never went to the movie theater. Maybe once or twice. Back then, 2011, I was only 21. 20, 21. <clears throat> and before that, I, I maybe once or twice went to the movie theaters. Back then, going to the movie theaters was, was epic. It was like... I don't know. It was, it was like it was like it was like your birthday, to, to, or a New Year's Day, or something to go to the movie theaters. But May the sixth, two thousand and eleven, changed everything. That's when once again the first Thor live action movie was released, and this was the first MCU movie that I seen on in like present day. I saw Iron Man 2, like, way after it was released. Iron Man 1, I saw way after it was released. But Thor was the first MCU movie that I seen on the release day in present time. Remember, like, it was yesterday, man. <clears throat> man. And... I would not have cared for uh, Marvel, the MCU, or superheroes if it were not for Thor. If it wasn't for Thor, I wouldn't care uh, about the superhero genre. I, I would not care. And just by, you know, being, you know, interested or maybe attracted to the Thor character. That opened the door to this Marvel Universe, to the DC Universe, to other superheroes. Because before that, all I knew, I didn't really know them, but I've heard... All I've heard of was Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, Hulk, Wolverine. That's it. Didn't really know of them until after around 2011. Because I'm looking at Thor. I'm going to look at these characters. And all of a sudden, I know so much about the Marvel Universe. So much about the DC Universe. And, you know, I, I got to say, I, I, I love... The Thor character. Like, uh, he is, in my very opinion, and my opinion right now is objective. He is the, the, the best superhero of all time. He is the best. Like, hands down the best. I mean, if you're in danger... Whether in a nether world, dimension, earth, whatever. Thor can do it all. Thor can go anywhere. <clears throat> Most superheroes can't. But Thor can go anywhere to save the day. Um, and when I first discovered Thor, and, and it, it's strange, you know, how I found out about him. Because back then, I was into, like, reading about religion, atheism, just searching about all these stuff about religion, Christianity. And from time to time, Thor would pop up. Like, he would just pop out, Thor, Thor, here and now, then and then, Thor, Thor. And, and it got me interested. Who is this Thor character? Why are they calling this, 
calling out this Thor guy, and I read about him, who's based on the Norse mythology, but then the, the Marvel Thor came up, and I thought this guy was interesting, just by reading his wiki page, like, man, this guy's, this guy's kind of cool, this guy can do it all, this guy is like, has his hammer, controls the weather, super strong, lives in a, in a, in a kingdom, this guy can do it all, and, and from then, just by, you know, researching about religion, led me to the God of Thunder in the Marvel Universe, also Norse mythology, I, I brush up on that a little bit, but led me to, to being, to, to just admiring this, this character. It's unbelievable how one thing can lead to a next, and for the next 12 years, Thor, it's all about Thor, Thor, Thor. And again, I would not have cared for the MCU if it wasn't for Thor. Wouldn't care about it if it wasn't for Thor. DC, I, I like DC, but, you know... No one in DC, you know, I, I, I don't admire anyone in DC like the way I do Thor. Thor is just the best, man. Again, can do it all, man. He can do it all. <clears throat> he can do it all. Um. Yeah, and 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 I'm and I'm grateful. For the live action movies. From his uh, single movies. To his Avengers movies. To even the Loki series. I mean. I, I, can, I can't believe it man. I, I, this is perfect timing. How I could have over what. Eight Thor movies. Thor Avengers movies. Then two Loki movies. Two Loki. Sorry. Loki TV series. <clears throat> it's epic. Like, how, how? This is this perfect timing. As soon as I knew about this guy, everything just followed after. Everything just followed after. And, and you know, I, I loved, I loved the, I'm, I'm just, again, I'm so grateful to have, to, to get to see Thor in live action. Um, Thor 1, uh, I thought it was okay, good, it was, it was good okay, uh, obviously it could be better, but I, I, I still liked it, Thor The Dark World, it's a step up from Thor 1, I thought the, the, the costumes were a step up, the visuals were a step up, the effects were a step up, and I still liked that movie, it had, had such a, 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 uh, a poetic, dark, uh, you know, vibe to it. Thor 3, I liked it. Um, still not, you know, still not my Thor. It, it, it's not my Thor, but but I, I liked it. I liked it. Thor 4, again, I'm very grateful to have to have the chance to watch single Thor movies four times and still you know, I, I still like Thor Love and Thunder. They, again, not my Thor. But I still love Thor, Love and Thunder. And again, I'm grateful that I had the chance to watch four Thor movies. Not everyone gets that with their character. Plus Avengers. Avengers 1, uh, based on his showing, it was okay. Could have done a lot more. Avengers 2, major step up from Avengers 1. Uh, whew, Infinity War was... Uh, Infinity War was a, a, a Thor... 3.5 movie. Because that movie was is really a Thor movie featuring the Avengers. Because that, that that Thor owned that movie. Endgame again. Not my Thor. Still respect. I I, I get what they were trying to do with with him. I, I, I still liked it. I still liked it. Um, so Endgame, Infinity War Endgame was like it was like a, a Thor point it's like a it's like a three point five 
3.7 Thor movies right there. Then you have the Loki uh, season one. I know it doesn't feature um, I know it doesn't feature Thor, but again, still grateful that we have we should, we can I can you know <clears throat> be a part of this Thor universe of this Thor storyline since 2011. And again, I as a kid, I didn't grow up with these characters. I found these characters as an adult. And since then, I've been so, you know, I've been inspired and I admire the God of Thunder. And even in the comics, like, no one has been on, on, a, on a roller coaster type, you know, journey than Thor. Like, you can't find anyone. Even this, again, he's so powerful. But yet he has to go through so much drama. I, I love his his backstory. His, his, his superhero backstory. Thor as a superhero, is, it's not, he's not cliche. He's not a cliche superhero. Where he wears a mask and protects his identity. No. He is... There's nothing. You can't find another character, superhero like Thor. Very unique. Wonder Woman, no. Wonder Woman, again, she has her alter ego, you know. You know, very different. And again, I'm, I'm just grateful to have had the chance to... to um, to be able to watch Thor live action. To watch him in the cartoons. Earth Mightiest Heroes. Avengers Assemble. Didn't really watch that, but I get it. Superhero Squad. Didn't really watch that, but I, you know, I still get it. To have so much Thor, is, you know, it's amazing, man. And, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, I'm very grateful, and I hope to see Thor 5, 6. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I, uh, I don't think I don't think the movies are gonna be as bad. Like when you talk about bad movie, a bad movie is like you know effects look like cardboard. You see, like you can see camera people at the back. Um, it's not filmed properly. That, that to me, that's like a bad movie. Thor movies have been good, okay, decent, great, fun, just. Love it. And again, it's May the 6th, 2023. Uh, May the 6th, 2011. Um, had the, <clears throat> had the um, privilege to, to sit and watch the first Thor live action movie. And, and at the time, it was, it was you know, I, I, I loved it. And I still do love it. But... As you you know, as you grow, you can see, hey, this a lot of things they could have done better, and I think if Thor, without the whole MCU universe, Avengers, I think if Thor was just a standalone, <clears throat> excuse me, if Thor was just a standalone movie by itself, I think they would have taken their time with them, taking their time with the movies, you know. Let's let's see the Thor as a, as a child. Thor, you know, walking around Asgard. Thor training. Thor talking to his to his people. Thor, you know, oh, I think they, it would have been so much more in depth with Thor, his villains, and the side characters. Uh, you you would have got a lot more if Thor was just a standalone movie. But with the MCU and the Avengers, they they rush to tie things in quickly to tell their story, whatever the case may be. I'm tired of talking right now, so I'm going to end it there. So, again, for Asgard.